There is late word tonight that the mayor of a Kharkiv area town has been released. We got word of his abduction allegedly by Russian forces just yesterday. Now, several days earlier, you may remember, Russians grabbed uh, Melitopol's mayor, Ivan Fedorov. That is them, you see at the top of your screen, hustling him away. He was freed just yesterday in a prisoner swap, according to officials, and gave his first Eng English language interview to us today. I spoke to him earlier, and you'll see the video connection was at times hit and miss, but we think it's important for you to hear what he had to say. Mayor Fedorov, what happened when you were abducted? Where were you and what did they do? Uh, they hold me on the Melitopol uh, police uh, in a small room, in a room for uh, uh, bad boys. Uh, and uh, they uh, hold me until six days and uh, uh, show me that uh, they have a greatest power. They have a, a greatest uh, army uh, many soldiers with uh, guns, and uh, they ask me to uh, stop meetings uh, in Melitopol, civilian meetings who want to live in you, uh, from people who want to live in Ukraine, but not in Russia Federation. Uh, they want me to stop meetings. They want me uh, that I uh, support uh, him and to make Russian Federation in Melitopol, but I said, no, I can't do it. Was it Russian soldiers who took you? <clears throat> yes, many soldiers took with me. Uh, not only soldiers, but uh, special secret services uh, agents. How did they treat you? Did they were they uh, did they hurt you? Did they yell no. at you? How how no, did no, they no. treat you? No, 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 no. Uh, they uh, leave me without any connections. Uh, they leave me without without uh, any speaking uh, in uh, uh, the. Next uh, rooms uh, on uh, police, uh, uh, they beat some, uh, and uh, you know it's uh, emotion very um, dangerous situation. You, after you were arrested, citizens in your town protested in the streets, calling for your return. Did you know that was happening? Did you know that people were protesting? No, no, I don't know anything because I was uh, without uh, cell phone, without internet, without any information. I don't know it. A, a prosecutor in the Luhansk region, backed by Russia, said that you were going to be tried for terrorism charges. Were you told that? Uh, no, I don't know. Uh, it, uh, no, of course, of course not, because... Uh, I don't know any terrorism organization in Ukraine, and of course I didn't uh, give any finance uh, for him. It's uh, it's a joke. It's uh, it's nothing. President Zelensky said your kidnapping was a, a crime against democracy. There are other Ukrainian of officials in other cities who have reportedly been kidnapped as well. Is this what is going to happen? Is this Russia's plan? in cities they control? Of course, it's a Russian plan because uh, many of my colleagues are now, uh, now in the same situation. And uh, uh, now we try to help uh, them. Uh, but uh, of course, it's a Russian plan because uh, I and my colleagues, uh, it's uh, uh, elected mayors and uh, elected by our citizens. That's why uh, uh, they want to uh, push us, they want to make us in a dangerous situation, and uh, they want to uh, show us, uh, for, so, show for us uh, their power. Of course, it's their plan, yes. Were you worried? Were you scared when you were taken? Uh, of course, I'm, uh, it, of course, it was uh, scary, uh, but, uh, but, uh, I need to do it because uh, my citizens elected me and uh, I must show them that uh, we must help our uh, citizens. And uh, they elected me as a mayor from democracy, Ukraine, uh, civilian country. That's why we must help them. You were released, Ukrainian officials say, for nine Russian captured soldiers. There was a, an oh, exchange yes, yes, of prisoners. Yes. Did you did you know that was yes. was was taking place? Did they just uh, let you go? Yes. 
I said I was saw this uh, nine uh, soldiers. Uh, it's uh, a very young soldiers, but uh, I think that uh, age uh, it uh, don't take uh, any um, any information because uh, the soldiers come to our country to kill our children, to kill our women, to kill our civilian peoples in Ukraine. That's why uh, these soldiers come to Ukraine to kill uh, and. Uh, it's the soldiers. It's not young people. A, a replacement mayor was appointed by, by Russian forces. They've taken down the Ukrainian flag. They've tried to disband the city council. What happens to you now? Uh, yes, it uh, was a uh, principal position of, of our team because uh, on Melitopol was Ukrainian flag because Melitopol is Ukrainian city. But uh, when uh, they was uh, hold me on uh, second day, they uh, put down the Ukrainian flag uh, on uh, central square of uh, Melitopol, and uh, they show uh, their power for all civilian uh, peoples in Melitopol. Uh, now Melitopol is in a dangerous situation because we have uh, many humanitarian problems. Uh, there are uh, less food in Melitopol, less fuel less pharmacy and many medical problems. Our team now don't work in uh, Melitopol because uh, Russian Federation and Russian soldiers uh, fully control uh, this situation. But as I spoke with uh, President Zelensky, uh, he uh, proud then uh, in a few time, Melitopol again uh, will be Ukrainian city as all cities in Ukraine uh, was annexed by Russian Federation. So what will you do now? Where do you go? Uh, President, uh, give me uh, tasks. Uh, now I will work in Zaporizhia, uh, in Zaporizhia uh, and uh, make uh, all tasks that give me a uh, president. What is your message to, to the Ukrainian citizens in Melitopol? Uh, you know, I uh, have uh, messages not for Ukrainian people in Melitopol. I have a uh, message uh, for all world. Uh, all world, uh, European, U.S. world, must to understand that uh, it is not far war from uh, uh, Ukraine and Russia Federation. It's war from Russia Federation and all over the world. And all over the world must to understand if Ukraine uh, can't win on this war, Russia Federation start war with Europe, with many countries of Europe and all over the world. That's why we must to be together with uh, um, we must be together on this war and uh, we must together win uh, Russia Federation. Finally, what is your message to Russian troops, your message to Vladimir Putin? Uh, they must understand that uh, we uh, don't want uh, anything from Russia Federation. Uh, we have our country, Ukraine, our democracy country, Ukraine, and we don't want uh, something from uh, Russia Federation. And we think that Russia Federation must not uh, want anything from Ukraine. That's why I think that uh, they must be live on uh, their home and uh, solve their problems, but not our problems.